if you add up the days and the times and all the amount of hours spent, it would probably be roughly 55,000 hours of tape evaluation for the NFL draft. You had two guys out there throwing for a gazillion yards, going back and forth, and making throws that only the elite quarterbacks of college football can make. The pressure that was on these quarterbacks was immense to do the job at a high level, and they answered the bell. This game was a defining moment for both these quarterbacks. You understood that it was two really good quarterbacks going at it, but I think nobody really expected what happened. He throws deep down the middle, looking for Joe. He's got him on the run at the 30. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Sooner. Baker, he's going to sling it for the end zone. Oh, mama! Any sort of run or, or good play will usually throw in a boomer. We're playing it all the time. It just felt like it was touchdown after touchdown and field goal after field goal, and it felt like the horn never left our face. Mahomes kept it himself. He's going to take it around left end. Touchdown, Red Raiders! Mahomes, he steps up, throws, and it is... Oh! oh. Fingertip catch! Touchdown, Red Raiders! After every touchdown, the Sal Tramps go down there, and we have a push-up board. After the first touchdown, we do seven. Second touchdown, we do 14. And so the push-ups uh, add up pretty quick. Games like that go on. We run out of guys that are willing to, uh, willing and able to do the push-ups that we need. Baker throws for the end zone. Basquit is there. He's got it. It's a touchdown. We had the lead, and they hit a long pass right before halftime. And I knew, hey, this is going to be 50, 60 points to win this thing the way they were rolling. Coach uh, Riley come up to me at a certain point and asked me how he want, I wanted him to play it, meaning did I want him to use clock and try and burn the clock some. I said, listen, man, we got Baker. We need to score. Baker Mayfield, another bomb to DD. Throw deep right side for Davis. He's caught it. Mixing wide open, one-handed catch down the sidelines, and he's into the end zone. Oh, mama! And it's Jonathan Giles. Touchdown, Red Raiders! You just run out of plays. <laughs> when, you, when you're calling that many plays and that many pass plays, you, you're, you're drawing stuff up in the dirt. You don't know at that point how many is going to be enough, especially with a guy like Mahomes on the other sideline. Mixing open, 20 to the 15, dive, spins, he's in! Touchdown, Sooners! Mahomes steps back, he's throwing deep again, and this time wide open for the catch and the touchdown, Red Raiders! I mean, not in a game like that, you know, you never run out of gas. So everybody was adrenaline was going for sure. By the end of the game, I think in total, collectively, we'd probably done somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 push-ups, and some of our counts were getting up into the 100s, probably. When I first started doing stats, everything was by hand. And at that time, I think the stat tablet that you used for off hits had space for 35 passes. We had gone through three of those in that game for each team. I've always had a lot of confidence in Baker and his ability. I always thought he would have a chance to be a, an excellent pro. I left that night feeling the same way about Mahomes. I knew that it was one of those nights that I don't care where you are, college, NFL, anywhere, you, you're not going to find many better quarterbacks on the same field than you did that night. Something that will probably just really stick with me is that Pat actually missed like maybe like two or three posts in that game. So I feel like he would have connected on those. You know, that would have been a crazy stat line for him. And I didn't realize the extent of the stats. I was actually walking to my locker room and SportsCenter was already playing it. The numbers here, if you're confused, most combined yards in FBS history. And then I'm like, wow, that may never happen again. After the game, there was a little sense from the media right after that this game was like somehow a, a mockery, that there was no defense played and, you know, typical Big 12, blah, blah, blah. And I said, listen, it wouldn't have mattered who was on defense tonight, the way those two guys were playing. I've never seen two guys do it better on the same field. I don't know how many throws they missed, but it wasn't many. They were both on fire. You took things from this game that were on the evaluation sheet. Both these quarterbacks put up monstrous numbers. Both teams had 854 yards of total offense. You can't script that any better. 
They were putting balls in places where only great quarterbacks can put them. And both these quarterbacks went on to be, you know, highly regarded for the NFL draft. That game, I think, gave you a clear indication of what type of NFL quarterbacks these two could become.